This week, Congress passed the sweeping GOP tax plan. Republicans are praising the bill, saying it will boost the U.S. economy. But Democrats disagree. This is the most sweeping change to the country's tax plan since the 1980s. What are your overall thoughts on the bill? Well, it was accomplished only by sweeping democracy away and really running roughshod and passing a bill that is a political life preserver for Republicans who've been unable to accomplish anything else. So they rush this bill through so quickly they have to pass it a second time in the House. And I'm sure by January they'll be back trying to correct some of the many mistakes they've made. Uh, you know, here at the holiday season, uh, it's like a tremendous Christmas gift for the Trump family, their billionaire buddies, the real estate moguls. But for the rest of America, we largely just get the gift wrapping. I know you voted against the bill, but is there anything in it that you do approve of or that you do support? Not much. Uh, I think uh, that uh, increasing the standard deduction has in order to uh, provide some simplification, but overall this bill is just simply wrong. It's not simpler or less complicated for many people. Uh, the way that the debt is increased will have an immense impact on our ability uh, to invest in people and invest in our infrastructure. Uh, so I see it overall as a really bad deal for America and so do most uh, objective economists who've looked at it, that it won't grow jobs, it will actually lead to exporting jobs, and it will not provide substantial benefits to the middle class. We've heard from your Republican counterparts that people are just wrong about this bill, that what's going to happen is more businesses are going to have more money, so they're going to hire more people and give them raises. Do you not think that that's going to happen? Well, it's not just my opinion. It's almost every objective economist uh, that's looked at it that says it won't grow the economy, may have some tiny little spurt at the beginning of next year on the stock market, uh, and the notion that the best way to get a wage increase for workers in Central Texas is to give a corporate tax cut just does not hold up with past experience. The economic studies have suggested that only about 20% to a fourth of uh, any corporate tax increase uh, or any corporate tax reduction actually flows to the employees and we know the way uh, executive compensation is it's usually the people at the top that walk off with most of the benefits uh, of any wage increase uh, and uh, this is mainly going to help uh, stock uh, dividends and reinvestment programs so there are some benefits for those who hold stock uh, but not for most wage earners. What is your biggest concern about the bill? Well, they're, uh, the, the size of the debt, uh, the exporting of jobs that should be in manufacturing here in America going abroad, uh, the fact that these benefits are skewed to those at the very top. As you know, Ashley, I served as one of the members of the conference committee and the conference committee really did not function in the way we learn about it in our civics textbook but the billionaires weren't satisfied with what either the house or senate did and so they added a tax cut for billionaires on top of both of those in the conference committee not more benefits for the middle class and they added a provision not in either bill specifically designed to help real estate moguls like donald trump uh, and one of my other concerns is that despite his comments to the contrary, the Trump family pockets will be overflowing with benefits from this bill. Uh, there's just one provision after another directed at them. Well, of course, we won't know the full extent of all that they get because Mr. Trump will not release his tax returns and my Republican colleagues continue to cover them up and not use existing laws in order to get them.